Hey YouTube, um, just gonna do a little uh, video for you guys today. Um, show you a cool little uh, program that I uh, found for Windows 8. If you guys are using Windows 8, um, you're new to it like I am. I actually just got this going on my machine a couple weeks ago on my uh, Dell laptop that actually shipped out with Vista. Um, the laptops I got it in 2008, and uh, Windows 8 runs wonderfully on it. It runs way better than Vista did, and I am thrilled with it. Um, but me, like most people, um, I missed my start menu, but I have it back now, as you can see. Um, I like the uh, the Metro start screen. It's cool for some things, you know, because everything is just laid out really big. It's right here, right in front of you. You can find it. There's no list to uh, go through. Once you get the hang of navigating around, um, it's great. And it's not bad to navigate with a keyboard and a mouse. It's cool. Even though it's kind of set up for touch screen, it still works really good with a keyboard and mouse but um anyway I like the traditional start menu too for finding certain things but um I found a program online and it's free and it's called uh, Classic Shell um, you just go to the website I'll show you guys where it's at um, download the program it's really small run the program like you would you know any other uh, Windows 8 type program and um, install it and just run the uh, follow the instructions it's real simple so um here's what it looks like this is what I have mine set up like um, this is the uh, Metro UI so it kinda gives it I wanted to keep that Windows 8 look to it um, there's a lot of settings we'll go ahead and open up the settings for it um, so you can go this is all settings or you can just go basic settings um, your basic settings you can choose from Windows Classic, Windows XP, Windows Vista you know depending on what kind of look you want um, I like the uh, Metro look so I just went here to skin and this gives you a lot of more things that you can choose from we got Metro, Smoke Glass you can choose if you want two columns or one no icons in the second column you can show your picture, show the username of the computer, small icons, large font um, there's all kinds of stuff um, one of the things that I really dig about this start menu um, this is the best start menu that I've ever seen on Windows at all. Um, I'm I use Linux a lot, so um, like I said, my computer had Vista on it before, so <laughs> I kind of went to the Linux side of things and and left Windows in the dust. But when um, Windows 8 came out, I wanted to give it a try, and I really like it. I've hardly even been using Linux anymore, so um, I have my start menu set up to where I have all the things here that I want like my control panel you can set it to where it's just a clickable link or where it has like this pop out menu so I can go through for instance say I want to uninstall a program I'll just go control panel come over here programs and features boom and it takes me here to all my programs okay if I didn't have that feature I would have to go to back to the metro screen I moved my control panel over here to the very front of my metro screen it used to it's like way over here by default but I moved it over here just so I can get to it quick. So I have to go to the start screen, open the Metro panel, go to programs, you know, uninstall program, and then then I'm there. So I mean, I had to click several times, go through several screens, and um, with this, it's a lot easier. Just click one time. You can even set it to where it opens the menu if you just hover over it. But I have it set to where I just click one time, go hover over control panel, go down to programs and features, and there I am. And it works like that for you know anything okay anything that you want over here on this side you just find it over here and then just click on it and drag it over so I drug over my C drive so I can get in to whatever I want my C drive really quick drug over all my program files so everything's there a couple of the apps that I use a lot my uTorrent the uh, Windows Store my mail I have a live mail account plus my Gmail account you can integrate it in with the uh, Windows 8 Metro Mail. Um, I really like the Metro apps. They're cool. They're full screen. There's not a lot of unnecessary things going on. It's just you see what you want to see, you know, and, and it's there. So you know, it's cool. There's a lot of Windows 8 haters out there. It's just it's something new, you know. And that's how technology is. Things change. Things get new. Once you get used to it, it's cool. It does. It takes a little getting used to. But um, this um, start menu definitely makes it a lot easier to get used to. Um, I'd have to say this is the greatest version of Windows so far. 
So um, if you want to get the start menu, just open up your browser. You can use Chrome or Internet Explorer, Firefox, whatever browser you use. I prefer Chrome. Um, I actually do like the uh, Metro um, Internet Explorer browser too. I use it a lot when I'm just kind of surfing around, reading stuff, because um, it's nice full screen. But when I want to do downloads and stuff like that, I like to use um, Chrome. It seems faster and just more efficient at that. But uh, anyway, you're just going to go ahead and um, Google Classic Shell. See, it's already here because I've already been there. But you got Classic Shell Windows 8. You can just Google that, or you can just go to the uh, directly to the to the um, to the site. It's uh, ClassicShell.SourceForge.net. So you're just going to come here. Kind of gives you a little overview of, of how everything is, how it works. You can kind of read over everything and just download. It's a really quick download. Like I said, just download it, run it however you would any other program for Windows that you download from the internet, and it'll give you instructions on how to get it going. It's really easy. Anybody can do it. Um, if you have any questions, just uh, hit me up in the comments or send me a message, and I'll help you out. So, um, yeah, I hope this help you, helps you guys out. Get your start menu back. Um, there's a couple options for doing it. There's another one. I forget what it's called, but it costs. It's like five bucks, and I looked into it. Um, this one's free, and I like it better. So. This is the one I went with. You don't have to have all these drop-out menus. You could just make it to where it's clickable. I like this because you can still click on it like that, or you can have the drop-out menu so you get the best of both worlds. You just to um, customize all that stuff. You just go to your programs, classic shell, classic shell start menu settings, and um, I like the uh, make sure you have it on all settings. You can start out with basic settings to get your basic stuff going, and then all settings. I like this little uh, sub menu, the special items. These are the things that you know could potentially be in your start menu. Um, you got your computer favorites, recent documents, user files, doc user documents, um, and you can choose to not display them at all. Just display them as a clickable link, or display as menu. That's how I have all of mine because I like having them uh, have the uh, little pop out menu. Um, default, most of them just come as, as a link, so you, if you want, you can come in and uh, change them over to display as menu, like I've done. So, I um, hope this helps, excuse me, got a little tongue tied. Hope this helps you guys out. If um, you have any questions, just hit me up. Thanks for watching.